Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this really awesome Ram 2500 2014 uh, heavy duty pickup truck. It does have the Cummins 6.7 liter turbo diesel. Really awesome truck. Tons of features. It looks really nice. Now, this is a long bed and it has just about everything you can imagine in a truck like this. It is a Laramie. Take a look here at the front. It's got the chrome grill. It's got the LED accents on the headlights as well as projector headlights. Fog lights. It's got the tow hooks in the front. Check out those wheels. Now one of the features it has is the remote start, which I'm going to show you. Here's the key here, and I'm going to go ahead and start it up. All right, now that it started, I'm going to show you the, um, you notice the key is just like a fob, it doesn't have the actual key. Uh, there's one inside of it, and as well, you also have an extra key there. But I can put the key in my pocket and walk up to the door because it does have a proximity key. Put my hand here on the door lock and it opens up automatically. I can relock the doors by pushing this button. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Since this is a big truck, I'm going to go ahead and go through on this side first. It does have a black interior stitched here on the door. You've got your door, door lock controls, power window controls. You got pockets pretty much everywhere down there big speaker in the door you have a power passenger seat as well as lumbar support you have leather seats perforated here leather seats and let's look underneath this so we can see the carpet mat there you do have a pocket here that fits a full-size file folder there's a storage compartment here there's your glove compartment there. Put a pocket right there, as well as there. Continuing on, this is a crew cab, so it has a nice full-size back door. It's amazing how much room this has in the back back seat. And you see the the back doors are uh, just as high quality with the uh, the trim here, the leather stitching, the pockets everywhere. Here's the seats. They are um, perforated and it also they are heated too, heated seats in the front and back. And these seats lift up. And it does have some storage here under the seat on that side. On this side your subwoofer because it does have the Alpine premium sound system. So there's your subwoofer and amplifier. This folds out and creates a flat surface in case you need to put something back here that you don't want to put in the back of the truck. This fold down folds down here. You have cup holder as well as an arm armrest. And these seats do have the uh, the latch system for car seats. You can see those there in the middle seat and on the other side. And then you got your back tether back here for your car seat. Under this mat, we have a store and floor system to where it's like a little storage compartment under the floor here. And it's kind of like a wastebasket type thing where you can dump it and put it back in. Some people use it, put ice in there and drink. Some people use it as a trash can or just put anything you want, tools. And it's completely out of the way. And there's the same thing on the other side, which I'll show you. Now the back of the truck here, and you see it does have a uh, the backup sensors, parking sensors here. Has a tow and hitch, of course. You got the four and seven way plugs. Here's the tailgate, and you can see the little lens right here for your backup camera. 
and it is a long bed so you got plenty of room for cargo and this is a factory spray-in bed liner very durable and since it's from the factory it's uh, directly on the truck without any kind of prior scratches or anything like that like say if you were to buy a truck and then put it on there might be some moisture or something but this one is a spray-in bed liner from the factory you see it does have the coil springs under there see if you can see that really nice for the wheels on this truck it's an eight lug and since this is a diesel it does use diesel, diesel exhaust fluid and there's your input for your diesel exhaust fluid right next to the fuel cap which that one doesn't have a cap it's a capless design but you get the idea so here's the inside of the other side it's basically the same thing on the door just want to show you the storage compartment here now here's some accessories and stuff here's an adapter for the trailer hitch because this is two different sizes so there's your storage underneath the seat and there's a storage here just like on the other side the store and floor and all that storage is out of the way when you're not using it and here's your mirror it does have a uh, a chrome mirror and their trailer tow mirrors they're separated you got a a uh, different view here as well as there and also they are heated but you can also lift them up like this so you can get a little bit more of a view when you're pulling a trailer you can snap them back like that if you want here's the inside of the driver's door on the front side there's your pockets and everything there's your window controls and door lock controls as well as your side mirror controls now the 2500 as of yet does not have a power folding side mirrors so that's one feature this truck does not have but none of the 2500s that I know have them it does have automatic headlights adjustable pedals you see the button here you can adjust them in and out here's your adjustments as far in it for your seat power adjustments as well as lumbar support and you have presets right there so I'm gonna hop in this is a tall truck I can turn the radio down all right here's your steering wheel and on the steering wheel there's lots of buttons so on this right side we've got your cruise control on the right side on the back is your volume so you can turn the volume up and down you see right there you can feel it better than you can see it now I'll also change the, the station on this side right now it's on satellite radio so I'm just scrolling through there really awesome sound with the Alpine sound system so I'm going to turn the volume back down and on this side you have your voice recognition button which is a whole guide for that and also your Bluetooth where you can answer your phone and you once you pair your Bluetooth phone to the system as long as your phone is in the vehicle uh, and somebody calls you and you'll hear, hear the sound system dim you'll hear it ringing through the sound system you just push that button and start talking your microphones are in the top of the rearview mirror to, to get a uh, nice clear sound there's that now here's your gauges and in the middle there's a nice screen right here where your uh, digital speedometer is right now now you can also see at the top left as an end that's because the truck is facing north it's 68 degrees outside right now there's your diesel exhaust fluid right here your fuel is on the right now all the gauge is pretty much self-explanatory from there now the center screen like I said they're controlled with these buttons here on the left side of the steering wheel so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scroll through just so you can get an idea of what they look like so I can scroll through there's your tire pressure on each tire 
I can pan to the right and get uh, like the oil life, fuel filter life, battery voltage, exhaust, turbo, um, different sum summary on all your different things. So I can go back like that. Now I can scroll down, fuel economy, different trips, trailer tow, no trailer connected, audio, messages will show up there. But you kind of get the idea that this is a customizable screen here so you can have different information when you need it. So there's your steering wheel, there's your gauges. It does have a nice handle on all four doors to get in and out of the truck since it is a elevated tr truck that has some elevation there. Now the shifter is here and on the shifter you see a plus and negative that's for sh shifting up and down while you're driving. That is especially important if you're going downhill you can use your diesel your exhaust brake which your control is here which I'll get to that in a second and you can actually go from 70 miles an hour without touching the brake and just gear down with that exhaust brake and come to a complete stop it's amazing so there's a little pocket up here there's your vents now here's your 8.4 Uconnect system um, it does have navigation a satellite radio so right now it's on your satellite which I demonstrated with the volume and everything there's your time your compass hopefully you'll be able to see that because there's a little bit of a glare from the sun um, it looks clear with my eyes, but the camera is kind of picking up a glare. It's facing north, right there, and there's your temperature, where it says low right here. That's corresponding to your dual climate zones. You can see I'm adjusting them now, and they're synced. Now I'm going to go here to the media button. Uh, there's a CD player, USB, auxiliary input, as well as an SD card and Bluetooth. And those connections are in here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, your controls, they do have heated and ventilated seats. Heated steering wheel. Climate control. You have your different climate controls there for your, you know, your temperatures and, and all that good stuff. You do have the controls down here as well. Navigation. You can set it to go different addresses. You can watch the map as you go, kind of see where you're at. A lot, a lot of uh, interesting things with the navigation. You can set addresses, um, all kinds of cool stuff. There's your phone. You have it'll download your um, your phone book and all that stuff. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. I know there's a big glare on here. I'm sorry about that. Um, but anyway, really nice screen. You do have UConnect apps, and uh, it has you know Wi-Fi hotspot, travel link, um, where you can look at different fuel prices, movie listings, sports, weather, all kinds of cool stuff, weather map, and all that. So really cool uh, features on the Uconnect system. You can turn the screen off if it's distracting you. You can turn it back on by touching it. And there's your controls for your, your climate controls. Here's your four-wheel drive controls, by the way. Down here you've got the uh, your trailer brake system, which is already factory installed and uh, your tow and haul buttons there now there's your your uh, exhaust brake you can turn your parking sensors off in case you're getting close to something and you need you don't want to hear the beeping noise while you're getting close it is pre-wired for different um, like lights or anything like that in case you need to add something to the truck um, like a, um, a winch or lights or anything like that you can you can hook it up here that, that's how you turn them on and off anyway there's a uh, pocket there place to put business cards there's a power supply there there's a storage compartment cup holders another storage compartment place to put an, another file folder there or a book or anything this like paper related I guess you could say here's your armrest this just does lift up and you do have a place to put like a small tab uh, tablet or a small laptop or cell phone and you can charge it there there's your SD card USB and auxiliary inputs for your radio and there's a USB charger here This whole thing lifts up, and there's where you see your CD player. And then you have a big storage compartment there. It does have an auto dim rear view mirror. Here's your garage door controls right here. 
this little round thing is a um, infrared sensor for your temperature control this button here is your power rear glass you can see how it opens up back there you do have some tap lights and right here is for your sunroof which it does have you have a shade like that and you can also open it up slide it like that all the way back or you could just vent it if you want to or when you're not using it you just close it up all right there's lots of features in this truck I'm just gonna kind of show you the quickly go over this and if you're interested in this vehicle or whatever or you don't want to know more about it you can um, go on our website and it'll have the you know a PDF version of this window sticker but I just want to show you the overall what it says on it all right let's look under the hood two batteries and they are insulated to make them last longer. Temperature does affect batteries. You see it's a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. There's your other battery there. You notice everything's color coded. Yellow is all the things that you would check normally. So if you're interested in this vehicle, let me know. My name is Mike and my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.